616, I have an emergency call for you, please. When you're ready for details of it. Already go ahead. Thank you, 16. You're attending number three, Wood Street. It's to an 82-year-old female. She's conscious and breathing, but she's fallen with a head injury of her. The government have changed the, the uh, response times to life-threatening calls. Uh, in the past, we had eight minutes from the point of getting three pieces of information from the caller, which was the address of the incident, the telephone number, and the chief complaint. Uh, the government have made it a lot more stringent now in that we have to respond in the eight minutes, but it's from the time of the call hitting our telephone exchange. So before we have any information, we are one of only two services in the country achieving the new standard. Ambulance emergency. We actually deploy our vehicles in a priority basis to the areas of highest activity for that time of day. That will ensure that we get the resource to the patient as quickly as possible. Uh, the funding that come from the government as an incentive to meet this target was £800,000. Uh, that, that, that has enabled us to buy new ambulances and response cars. We've also spent money in the control room to facilitate the call taking uh, with, with the new standard. Um, and we're also investing money into a new centralised station uh, that we will deploy vehicles from initially. Well, we have an annual inspection by the Healthcare Commission, uh, and the last com uh, inspection by the Healthcare Commission looked at key targets, uh, and the ambulance service on the island attained all their key targets, which actually puts us, us at the forefront um, of ambulance services. We were ranked number one last year. I have to say that, uh, that the service wouldn't have achieved all these accolades without the dedication and professionalism of the staff involved and that, that's from the call takers to the dispatchers through to the operational staff whether they be on front line or on PTS and high dependency. Um, I'm very proud to work with these people uh, and we are all very passionate about how we deliver care to the patient on the Isle of Wight.